Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I will be walking you through today's practice problem as if you're one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this practice problem for yourself before watching my explanation. In approaching this practice problem, let's draw a free body diagram. Here's Johnny and he has a normal force going in the upward direction. He also has a weight going in the downward direction. And I drew the weight as being smaller than the normal force because the net force is in the upward direction. So here's the net force. Now let's start off by calculating the net force. And just like any other force, it can be calculated by doing mass times acceleration. Now the mass in this case is Johnny's mass, which is 100 kilograms, about, and his acceleration was 2.13 meters per second squared, but I'll just approximate that as 2. Okay, so his overall net force is 200 newtons in the upward direction. Okay, now let's, now let's calculate his weight, and I know it's a sensitive topic for Johnny at this time, but let's do it anyways. And his mass is about 100 kilograms. And his uh, and gravity is about 9.8 meters per second squared in the negative direction. But I'm just going to approximate it as 10. So this is all negative. Overall, his weight is about negative 1,000 newtons. Okay. Now, how do all these forces relate to each other? Well, using our free body diagram, we know that the net force is equal to the normal force plus the weight, okay? Now let's just plug and chug. The net force is 200 newtons. We don't know the normal force. And the weight is negative 1,000, right? And if we do, if we add 1,000 to both sides, we get 1,200 newtons being equal to my normal force. If we look at the answer choices, we notice that none of the answers are exactly equal to 1,200 because we used approximations to calculate our answer. But the closest answer choice is C, therefore I'm pretty confident that it is the correct answer, which it is. If you're struggling to do this kind of math in your head, I'd highly recommend doing my High Speed Math Mastery course. It'll teach you how to do all the math you need to know for the MCAT at a very high speed, which is crucial because so many students complain about running out of time on the MCAT. I'd highly recommend checking out my course. If you liked this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in my free MCAT prep course at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you're really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to check out my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I'd love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon, and we'll see you next time.